we were just sitting there watching their first game, and they they blitzed like crazy. They had all kinds of blitzes. You know, it seemed like every play they had something new coming. Um, you know, I don't know if that's exactly what they're going to do to us or not. Um, you know, there are spread teams that they played last year that we can watch to kind of get a good gauge on, you know, how they'll play us. But um, you know, I feel like usually whoever we play, we always get blitzed more than they usually would because mm -hmm. they, you know, they want to try to do something to stop us. So, um, you know, personnel-wise, the first game of the season is good for us. But I think there's other games from last season, uh, like UCLA and Duke, to uh, to look at to see, you know, what kind of tendencies they'd have for a spread yeah. team. Did you like the communication on the line, especially in the second half as you guys went along, sir? Did you feel a chemistry kind of develop? And what, what did you feel or anything else out there? Yeah, I mean, with everybody being new, there there were some communication issues and, you know, they messed up some of the plays, which, you know, if unless you were out on the field, you wouldn't know about, you know, well, you know communicating the front or where a blitz was coming from or the ID. Um, so we had a, a little bit of issues with that on a couple plays, but, um, you know, definitely once guys just got comfortable talking, you know, we started to get in sync better and we started yeah. executing more. And I think that was, you know, visible just from, you know, watching the game. Um, and that's just got to come from guys being more comfortable. They just got to become more comfortable communicating because once we all communicate and we all know what we're doing, even if we're wrong, if we're all on the same page, it usually works out. So there's a lot of room for growth there on the line in particular, you think? Definitely. Just getting to know each other a little bit more. And yeah, and I mean, I, I definitely think, you know, we showed a little bit of, you know, youth and an experience, which, you know, I think that's kind of to be expected. But like I said, in the second half, once I think guys get, kind of got their nerves out and got comfortable communicating, um, we played a lot better, I thought. And biggest improvement, I think, is game one to two. So, you know, I expect to see a lot of improvement. Guys kind of got their nerves out, got the first game out, and realized that we do this every day in practice. So they're prepared for it. Kelly, can you talk about that specifically for you? You know, last year, you know, your first game was like yeah. playing against a guy who ended up being one of the best defensive players in the country. Mm -hmm. And then here you go for game two. You know, what was that week like for you in between game one and game two? You're talking about that is such a thing for improvement. You went through it. What was right. the experience like? I mean, I think, you know, you finally realize what the game environment is like, and you really have to focus in on your preparation. Um, you know, I, I thought I'd prepared well for, you know, the first game, but then you know, I took my preparation a lot more serious because I saw that, uh, you know, you can get exposed. You can get exposed out there. So you have to be prepared and you have to do everything it takes and be prepared for every situation that could arise, even if it's going to be a rare occurrence. So, um, you know, I think guys will just have to learn how to prepare. You know, you can always prepare better. You can always do more, always watch more film. So, uh, you know, I just think taking taking the preparation more seriously and focusing in on that for guys who, you know, maybe have never done that before.